Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Storytime. My name is Toby, and I'll be telling your stories today. We've got a lot of good ones on the schedule, so I think we should just get started uh, by doing bread and butter. Is everybody ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. That one was really slow. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Hello. Good job. Can I see your hands? Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Them. Lay them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creepy, creepy, creep them right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, but do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them them just like this 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 roll them roll them roll them roll them blow a little kiss Mwah! very good everybody well uh, we've got our alphabet out here today and it looks like one of the letters is missing hmm it's not K K's right there it's not A, that's at the beginning, and Z's at the end. Um, Q, R, S, B, no, Q, R, S, C, no, C's there. Q, R, S, oh, uh, T, T, U, V. So today's letter is T, and some words that start with T are um, taco and time, and um, my neighbor's name is Tom. Um, oh, and my name is Toby. Those are all T words. But today, T is going to stand for transportation. We've got cool stories about transportation um, and one about a really cool journey that someone takes. So um, we've got all our letters here. So why don't we sing the alphabet together? All right, I've got my guitar. Is everybody ready? One, two, three, four. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. I'm sure all of you sang and you did a very good job at it. All right, I'm gonna put my guitar down and we're gonna do our little stretch. Is everybody ready? <sighs> big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. <sighs> Give yourself a hug. Mm -hmm. uh, tap your elbow. Tap your knee. Do, 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 do. Pull on your ears. 
One more big stretch out wide. Big stretch up tall. All right, we can get started. I'm gonna take the letters down. And our first felt is a little bit different. It is about something near and dear to my heart. It is all about, look, the letters just fell themselves. It is all about trains. Hmm. All right, you guys ready? A horn blasts. Boom. Red lights flash. A striped gate comes down. Car after car rumbles by. The freight train has come. Hmm. Freight trains carry coal, lumber, and other heavy cargo over long distances. One freight train hauls more than many trucks can. Hmm. At the front of the train is a diesel locomotive or engine. A few engines can pull hundreds of train cars. There's our engine. Freight trains can be three miles long. Three miles is more than the distance between the downtown library and the Westgate library. Uh, that's a really long train if you ask me. On open track, these trains can travel about 50 miles per hour. That's really fast. Whew. Okay, so what kind of train cars are there? Well, the first one is the flat car. It is the oldest type of train car. It has no sides and no roof. Today's flat cars carry huge containers filled with products. Hmm. A gondola right here is an open car with sides. So it's open on the top but it has sides, four sides. And it carries loose cargo, such as sand and gravel. Hmm. One gondola can carry a hundred tons of freight. That's a lot of freight. Hmm. A box car keeps cargo dry. It has sides and a roof. A boxcar can carry just about anything from paper to machines or robots, if you like robots. Hoppers, which is this one right here, have chutes at the bottom. And those are used to unload whatever's in the hopper, such as coal or grain. Tank cars hold liquids like oil. So, next time you see a train, see how many types of freight cars you can identify. All right, good listening, everybody. I'm going to take these down here and we'll do a little rhyme. Is everybody ready? You guys should know this one. Ready? Last night and the night before, a lemon and a pickle came knocking at my door. I ran downstairs to let them in, and they threw me in the garbage bin. What? <sighs> Last night and the night before, a chocolate chip came knocking at my door. I ran downstairs to let them in, and he threw me in the cookie tin. What? <sighs> uh, 
last night and the night before, a big alligator came knocking at my door. I didn't go down to let him in. I fell asleep with a great big grin. Hmm. Good job, everybody. Um, I think now uh, we'll do another song, and this one is about a mode of transportation, a boat, and we're all gonna be pirates. Ready? When I was one, I sucked my thumb on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship, and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way that way forwards backwards over the deep blue sea when i was two i tied my shoe on the day i went to sea i jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me oh you go this way that way forwards backwards over the deep blue sea when I was three, I tapped my knee on the day I went to sea. I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was four, I shut the door. On the day I went to sea, I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. When I was five, I danced and jived. On the day I went to sea, I jumped on board a pirate ship and the captain said to me, Oh, you go this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the deep blue sea. Good job, everybody. Good job. All right. Okay. So today we're talking about transportation. We already talked about uh, train cars, different types of train cars. Now I'm going to read you one of my favorite books of all time. Got it right here. It is called whoop, McToad Moe's Tiny Island. Hmm. McToad Moe's Tiny Island. McToad likes Thursdays. Every other day of the week, he mows the grass on the big island. But on Thursdays, he mows the grass on Tiny Island. Here, you guys got to see how tiny it is. Tiny Island. Hmm. Okay. First, McToad rides his lawnmower out of the shed. Then he drives it up into the back of a truck. The truck takes the lawnmower to a train. A forklift puts the lawnmower onto the train. The train takes the lawnmower to the airport and a conveyor belt carries the lawnmower to the airplane. The airplane flies to the other side of the big island. And a baggage buggy takes the lawnmower to a helicopter. The 
The helicopter picks up the lawnmower and flies it to the dock. That's my favorite picture, McToad flying the helicopter. A big rope lowers the lawnmower to the deck of a boat. And the boat sails all the way to Tiny Island. A crane lowers the lawnmower onto the island. And then, McToad mows Tiny Island. Look how tiny it is! McToad pauses. He drinks a glass of lemonade. He puts a little bit of oil in the lawnmower. And McToad finishes mowing Tiny Island. Then, the crane lifts the lawnmower onto the boat, which sails across the ocean to the dock, where the helicopter picks it up and flies it to the airport just in time for the baggage buggy to get it to the airplane, which zooms it across Big Island to the conveyor belt, which takes it to the forklift, which loads it on the train that goes to the station where the truck is ready to take it home. McToad rides the lawnmower back into the shed and wipes it off with a clean cloth. McToad likes Thursdays. The end. Good listening, everybody. Good job. All right. I think it is time for another song. You guys ready? Got my guitar here. Need my guitar pick. Whoop. Whoop. There it is. All right. <laughs> you guys might know this one and you can sing along. Ready? Down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Back to my home. I dare not go. For if I do. My mother would say, have you ever seen a goat wearing a coat down by the bay? Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, have you ever seen a cat wearing Swinging a baseball bat down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, Have you ever seen a mouse building a house down by the bay, down by the bay? Watermelons grow back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother would say, Have you ever seen a muskrat? Um, well, have you ever seen a muskrat? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow back to my home. I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say, I think this song has gone on too long. Down by the bay. Good job, everybody. I hope you liked that one. That's one of my favorites. All right. Um, can I see your hands? I have 10 fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Do you want to see? I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. 
I can fold them tight and hold them just so. I can squeeze them tight. I can open them wide. I can wave them all around. I can make them all high. I can make them jump high. I can make them jump low. I can fold them tight and hold them just so. Okay, the next song, the next story is one of my favorites. I love telling it. And uh, I hope you guys too do too. I hope you guys like listening to it. There's one thing that you can help me with. There's a part in the story uh, that when I go like this, I'd like you to say a, a certain phrase. Now it's in French, but we'll practice it really quick. Okay, ready? It goes like this. S'il vous plaît. Let's try it one more time. S'il vous plaît. One more time. S'il vous plaît. And that means please in French. Um, so I'll go ahead and start the story. It goes like this. Once upon a time, when kings and queens still ruled the land, there lived a little duck named Drake's Tail. Now Drake's Tail made money by selling hats in his hat shop. And he was very good at selling hats, but he was even better at saving his money. All the money that he made, he would stash away for later. Well, the king got wind that Drake's tail had lots of money and the king was out of money. So he decided he would borrow some from Drake's tail. So the king came to Drake's tail's house and knocked on the door and said, Drake's tail, I would like to borrow some money from you. And Drake's tail, being the very nice and polite duck that he was, said, Sure, king, you can borrow money as long as you pay me back. Well, the king took the money and returned to the castle. Well, a week went by, and a month went by, and a whole year went by, and still Drake's tail had not gotten his money back from the king. So, one morning, he woke up, he put on his hat, and his jacket, and he decided he was going to travel to the castle to ask the king for his money back. So he opened the door and started walking down the road, and as he walked, he sang a traveling song. And this is where you guys are gonna help me, ready? It goes like this. Quack, 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 I want my money back. I want it back today. Si vous play, see it rhymes and it says please. Okay, so Drake's tail's walking down the road when he runs into his friend Fox. And Fox says, Drake's tail, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Which means, hello, how are you? And Drake's tail said, oh, I am fine. I'm headed to the castle to ask the king for my money back. And Fox said, well, do you mind if I join you? Him and his friends have been chasing me all around the woods and I'd like to have a word with him about that. Drake's tail said, that's fine, but it's a long way and I'd like to carry you. So why don't you shrink down and hop in to my ear? So Fox shrank down whoop, and hopped right into Drake's tail's ear. Whoop, and Drake's tail kept walking, singing his traveling song. You guys ready? Quack. Quack, quack, I want my money back. I want it back today. Si vous play. Well, Drake's tail came across two more of his friends, his friends River and his friend Ladder. And River said to Drake's tail, Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Which means, hello, how are you? And Drake's tail said, I am fine. I am on my way to the castle to ask the king for my money back. And River said, well, I'd like to have a word with the king as well. He keeps polluting my waters and I don't like it one bit. And Drake's tail said, I'd be happy to take you. Why don't you and Ladder shrink down very small and hop into my ear? So Ladder and River shrank down very small and hopped right into Drake's tail's ear. And they kept walking, singing the traveling song. Quack, quack, quack. I want my money back. I want it back today. Si vous play. Well, they came across one more of Drake's tail's friends, his friend Wasp. Wasp was buzzing about, and when he saw Drake's tail, he said, Drake's tail, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Which means, hello, how are you? And Drake's tail said, I am fine. I am on my way to the castle to ask the king for my money back. 
And Wasp said, that sounds like a good time. I think I'd like to come along with you. And Drake's tail said, sure, I'd be happy to take you. All you need to do is hop into my ear. Shrink down first, but then hop into my ear. So Wasp shrank down whoop, and hopped right into Drake's tail's ear. So now Drake's tail had fox and river and water and wasp all carrying him, all carrying them all in his ear up to the castle. They got to the castle. Drake's tail knocked on the door. He was let in and he walked right up to the king and he said, King, I would like my money back. See vous play. See, remember, Drake's tail is very polite. He always says please and thank you. Well, the king said to Drake's tail, ha! You're never going to get that money back. I don't know why you came to ask. And Drake's tail thought for a minute. The king then said, take this duck and throw him in the hen house. The, pens will, the hens will peck him until he runs away. So the guard picked up Drake's tail, walked him over to the hen house and tossed him in. Well, as soon as Drake's tail got into the hen house, you know what he did? He said, Come out of my ear. There's lots of juicy chickens here. And just like that, Fox popped out of Drake's tail's ear and chased away all the chickens in the hen house. Drake's tail was able to walk right out of the hen house and back up to the king. He said to the king, I would like my money back. See vous play. And the king said, well, I don't know how you've gotten out of that jam, but hmm, guard, Take this duck and throw him in that deep, dry well. So the guard picked up Drake's tail and walked him over to the dry well and tossed him in. When Drake's tail hit the bottom of the well, he thought for a second and then he said, Ladder, oh ladder, come out of my ear. I need some help getting out of here. So ladder hopped out of Drake's tail's ear and extended all the way up the side of the well. Drake's tail just climbed right up the ladder, walked right back to the castle, right up to the king and said, King, I would like my money back. See vous play? Well, the king didn't like that at all. He said, Drake's tail, you duck. You're perplexing me. I don't know what to do with you. Ha, I know. Guard, take this duck and throw him in the furnace. We'll have roast duck for dinner. Well, the guard picked up Drake's tail and walked him over to the furnace and started to throw him in. Right before the guard let him go, Drake's tail said, River, oh river, come out of my ear. Extinguish all the flames that are here. And river came flowing out of Drake's tail's ear and extinguished all the flames in all the furnaces. Drake's tail just walked back to the king and he said, King, I would like my money back. See si vous play? Well, at this point, the king was furious. His face was red. There was steam coming out of his ears. He couldn't hold it together. So he said, Guard, I'll finish this duck myself. Why don't you put him right here on my throne and I'll sit on him to squash him. Well, the guard picked up Drake's tail, set him on the king's throne, and the king got ready to squash him. And just as the king was about to sit down, Drake's tail said, Wasp, oh wasp, come out of my ear. There's a great big target right here. And Wasp came flying out of Drake's tail's ear and started to sting the king unmercifully until the king fled out of the throne room and out of the castle and out of the kingdom and was never seen again. Well, everyone sitting in the castle was so surprised. They decided that they needed a new king and who was sitting on the throne but Drake's tail. So they said to Drake's tail, Drake's tail, will you be our king? Drake's tail just looked at them and said, no, thank you, but I would like my money back. See vous play.
The end. That was a long story. I'm glad you guys listened for that one. Okay, I think that about does it for our story time today. And my favorite thing to do to end the story time is to sing dance any way you want to. So pay attention to the words and remember to stop when I say freeze. All right, you guys ready? Dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. Stop when I say freeze. Good job. Good freezing. Okay, next one, because it's summer out, we're gonna swim like this. Ready? Swim anyway, swim anyway. Okay, ready? Swim anyway you want to. Swim anyway you please. Swim anyway you want to. Stop when I say freeze. Did you guys freeze? Good job. Okay. Um, how about this? Let's get some wiggles out. Wiggle like this. Wiggle anyway. All right, you guys ready? Wiggle any way you want to, wiggle any way you please, wiggle any way you want to, stop when I say please. Good job. Okay. Okay. How about this one? Can we jump? Like, jump, jump, jump. All right, ready? Jump any way you want to, jump any way you please, jump any way you Good job. I think you guys are all frozen. All right. One more. We'll dance for one last time. Ready? Dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. Stop with I say please. Good job, everybody. Thank you for watching Storytime. Have a wonderful day. Bye.